Hi there, my name is Phil DeBoer, and I'm the coordinator of recruitment and student services for Chicago Semester. I'm glad you're watching this video because that means you want to learn more about our program. Well, I'm here to help you out. But rather than just tell you what Chicago Semester is, I'm going to show you Chicago Semester by spending the day taking you around this great city of Chicago and highlighting all the different aspects of our program. At the start of every semester, Juniors and seniors in college show up at the doorsteps of Hotel Allegro in downtown Chicago for a week of orientation. Chicago semester staff spend the week here preparing students for a semester in the big city. The days are full of presentations on how to navigate the public transportation, what the different housing options are like, and how to make the most of the internship interviews. The evenings are spent getting to know each other, going out for food and entertainment, and, of course, exploring the city. By the end of the week, students will have successfully chosen their roommates, selected their housing, interviewed with multiple internship sites, and ultimately determined where they will intern for the semester. Because so much is accomplished in just one week, orientation can be a bit exhausting, but it is incredibly empowering for students who have never lived in a big city before and now have the tools to do so. One of the tools we supply our students with is called a U-Pass, which looks and operates similar to this fare card. Now, Chicago is much bigger than just the loop downtown. When you consider the cost of gas and parking and the hassle of traffic, it can be extremely expensive and time consuming to have a car in the city. Thankfully though, you can get pretty much anywhere you need to in Chicago, either by the train or the bus. In fact, I'm gonna take the bus over to uh, our next location right now, so I'll see you over there. Here we are in the Gold Coast neighborhood of Chicago, and this building behind me here is where most students will live during the semester. Canterbury Court Apartments features both studio suites for two people and one bedroom suites for three people. Chicago Semester has partnered with Canterbury for decades because of all the wonderful amenities this location provides. Not only are these apartments furnished, but the building is in a safe neighborhood, just blocks away from groceries, the beach, and public transportation. And most importantly, the management here offers affordable rates on short-term leases. The cost of living here for three and a half months is almost exactly the same as a semester of on-campus living. Students can choose to find housing of their own in Chicago if they would like. And we also try to provide some housing options in more traditional neighborhoods. But we have such a long-standing history with Canterbury that I had to make sure you saw it. One of the best advantages to living in Canterbury is that the Clark and Division Red Line stop is just two blocks away from here. Now, this is convenient because the Chicago Semester offices are just four stops south. So, I'm actually gonna go hop on a train right now and I'll show you around our headquarters in just a minute. Welcome to our offices. Come on inside, I wanna show you around. So, this is where the Chicago Semester staff work throughout the week, but it's also where the students show up for their classes and their practicum group. Now, we've got a lot of really nice features to our office space. We have a kitchen where the students can have lunch. Uh, we've also got a lounge space where the students can hang out, relax. We have a library full of books that the students may find useful in their studies. We also have a computer lab where the students can research, uh, work on projects throughout the semester, whatever they need to do. And we also have three classrooms that uh, are installed with smart technology, meaning that they have laptops in there, projectors, whiteboards, basically everything that the teacher needs to teach the class effectively. So as I mentioned before, this is where the Chicago Semester staff work. Now, we've got a team of professionals here who are dedicated to the success of our students, and I want to take a chance to introduce you to some of them. This is Clinton Stockwell, the director of our program. Uh, part of what Clinton does is oversees the faculty and seminar aspect of Chicago Semester. Uh, Clinton, can you tell us a little bit about what the classes are like here and, and what can students expect from the seminars? Sure, Phil. Uh, Chicago Semester utilizes an experiential education methodology. So we use the classes to connect with the city. We employ field trips, we're bringing guest speakers. Our readings and writings are, are concerned about urban issues. A typical Chicago Semester student will take two of our seminars, uh, either the Values and Vocation or Arts in the City seminar, or one section of the Metropolitan Studies seminar. We try to connect with the city and bring those issues into the classrooms. But in each case, our seminars uh, give our students the skills and the understandings that they need so that they can be effective change agents in a changing world. 
Now I'd like to introduce you to Leslie Lehner, our internship coordinator. So Leslie, obviously the internships are an important part of the student's experience, but what are the internships like at Chicago Semester? Well, I do think Chicago Semester's internships are a bit unique. We've partnered with over a thousand different internship sites in Chicago, and every year we are able to add new sites to our database. Shortly after being accepted to the Chicago Semester program, I and other members of the staff communicate with students about their internship interests. Throughout the process, we will be working with students to improve resumes, assemble portfolios, prepare for interviews, and talk about options. Our goal is for each student to have two to three interviews when they arrive in Chicago. After getting feedback, we will help students settle on an internship by the end of orientation week. The Chicago semester staff is very supportive and a great resource as students navigate what would be a very exciting semester in Chicago. All right, so the last staff member I'd like you to meet is Rebecca Burwell, the practicum group coordinator. Now, Rebecca, practicum group is often a new concept for students that attend this program, and sometimes it can be misunderstood. Uh, can you tell us what exactly is practicum group and why is it so important? Sure, Phil. It definitely is a non-traditional class, so sometimes students have a hard time grasping the importance of it. Every week, students meet with six or seven peers with the practicum group leader who will facilitate discussion. The practicum group leader helps them craft an internship learning contract that allows them to think about uh, goals, things that they want to learn through the semester of the internship. Then we also talk about what it's like to live in an urban environment issues that students might confront daily. For example, what it's like to live in a crowded neighborhood where it's very noisy, or maybe it's the first time that they've ever encountered somebody panhandling on the street. Students are able to come to some self-understanding about their gifts, their goals, their professional skills that will allow them, when they move on from here and graduate, to be professional independent people. So as we're leaving the Chicago Semester offices, I hope that it's obvious that there's a lot of people working here on a lot of different facets of the Chicago Semester program. But considering the fact that students spend four days a week working at their internship sites, I really want to make sure that you get a chance to learn more about what that's like. So let's actually go and visit one of these internship sites and meet the supervisor over there. Alright, so here we are at Easter Seals National Headquarters, located in the iconic Willis Tower building. And sitting next to me is Kristen Barfield. What could you tell us about the type of internship experience that uh, Chicago semester students get through this program? Sure. Well, really, on, on day one, you're going to spend quite a bit of time with your supervisor, um, and they're likely the same person that you interviewed with. My goal, really, as a supervisor, has always been to give our interns as much of an experience as possible. So, for example, they may be involved in brainstorms and team meetings, and we really want the interns to be able to experience as much as possible not really just the menial tasks that I know most interns are fearful of when they go into an internship, but actually meaningful work that will help them learn about that type of job. And our hope is that you'll have something very tangible to have with you as a real life experience on job interviews going forward. You know, the hope is that every day is quite different from the one before. The coolest thing about the program is just the experience you have by living in Chicago. It's such a great place to live and work, and you really get uh, the breadth of that when you're here. You know, I think Chicago Semester really changes the interns that come through the program, and it's, it's pretty incredible to see. If you're an interested student still eligible for participation, talk with your campus representative or visit our website at www.chicagosemester.org for more information. Thanks again for watching. And I hope to see you again sometime here in Chicago.